Hello everybody! Welcome to another 10 minutes of video. This is a series where we look at puzzle, casual games, and generally anything we can really just kind of record in uh, 10 minutes. Uh, today we're looking at the Westport Independent. This is a game I bought really when it came out, and it's okay. It wasn't as it was short, it wasn't quite as, as expected, but it was kind of a fun little game. So, a little intro screen here, let's pull that up, and we get our menu up here. We will go ahead and start the game. I will choose slot zero. I have played through this once before. It doesn't have cloud save. That's why you're seeing um, I made more coffee. Why you're seeing there being nothing in there. Game will be saved automatically between each week. Good to know. This is a work of fiction. Name, characters, groups, businesses, place, events, and incidents are either the product of Freelick Wenzel. Got it. The following is an instructional film about the Public Culture Bill for all independent newspapers in Westport. Throughout this film, we'll answer various questions you may have regarding both preparations for the bill and the bill itself. What is the Public Culture Bill? The Public Culture Bill is a new bill that will come into force May 16, 1949 and has been created to improve the quality of independent media outlets. The bill contains certain guidelines for independent media outlets to follow that will make it easier to create media products of utmost quality. In order to make sure that everyone follows these guidelines, the bill will create a government-driven union called the Loyalist News and Media Association that will be mandatory for independent media outlets to join. What's your responsibility until the bill comes into force? Introducing a new bill takes time. Therefore, until the Loyalist News and Media Association is properly set up and the bill has come into force, the Loyalist government has created temporary guidelines for you to follow. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of our country. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the Loyalist government. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the president. And do not print deceitful content that may glorify the acts of rebels or other criminals. Do print content that strengthen loyalty towards the government. Do print content that inspires morality in the public. And finally, do print content that harden propriety in our society. The Loyalist government expects your cooperation in this matter and hopes you understand the consequences of disobedience and or affiliation with disloyal members of the public. How do I remove improper content from my paper? First, drag an article to your desk. Second, read through the articles and look for fallacies. Third, cross over paragraphs that do not fit with the government guidelines. Fourth, give your article to a journalist so that they can transcribe it. Make sure that you only give them an article you have fully edited, as mistakes can be quite devastating. That is all for this instructional film. Remember that the guidelines presented during this film are for media outlets in Westport only, and is not to be shared with the public. I forgot how long that intro video was. <laughs> it is long. Week zero. Twelve weeks left till the public culture bill comes in to force. Oh no. I've got mail. Dear editor, Phil has been putting up more lawyers' propaganda in the office. You know I can't stand this shit, so I decided to pull it down. It should be on your desk with this note, Frank. Morally, morality and proprietarity, these are the basis of a civilized society. So you see up here we have our people's opinion. This basically affects if they support the loyalists or the rebels. This is how suspicious the loyalists are that we're basically, you know, trying to destroy them. And this is our popularity in the different sectors of the city. These, of course, all our writers. This tells us what their opinion is. Like Julie is has doubtful opinions of the government. Wants to go to community. Worked as freelance. Went to private company. Supports loyalists. Was a disabled brother. 
breaks heavily rebel. And I believe this kind of just gives you an idea of who will write what articles, because certain people won't want to write certain articles, and if they're suspic got a, too high of a lawyer's suspicion, they may get, you know, in troubles. Back to Shotel's pot. Article, article 1, Censoring. One of the game's main mechanics is the censoring of articles. You can do this by clicking on paragraphs that seem inappropriate. When censored, that content won't be shown to the public and will affect neither their opinion or the government's suspicion of you. You can also change the headline by clicking on it. Different headlines can be can change the portrayal of an article. <laughs> Welcome to the extraordinary and amazingly soon to be GOTY get winner the <laughs> There you go, kinda of showing that's that's basically just how we're gonna edit our articles. Employees This part is about your employees, huh? When you've censored an article, it needs to be transcribed. To do this, put it in one of the named folders to the bottom right. The employees all have different opinions, and they'll be discussing how you run your paper. They also have their lives to protect, so don't blame them if they don't wish to follow you into death. You know? What's our first article? Loyalist government pursues harsher actions against suspected rebels. A new reform has passed that will hasten the rest of rebel supporters. The reform consists of exceptions in various privacy laws allowing the police to expedite search warrants. Most of these exceptions apply to ex-criminals with relations to the rebels. However, some exceptions also apply to civilians who have expressed disloyal opinions against the government. And we can also change that to... Loyalist government attacks the privacy of civilians. Can cross that out and there you go so we've basically now created a article essentially saying their uh attack i'll give that to julie public culture bill has been passed well, the culture bill that the government passed last year has presented last year has today been passed. The purpose of the new bill is to stop the creation and distribution of incorrect and improper content. It will force independent media outlets to either shut down or join the new government-funded union called the Loyalist News and Media Association. So we will give that to Bill. And we'll go, uh, let's go ahead and set ourselves to print. Uh, no, fine. I'll write the tutorial articles. So it doesn't yell at me about that. Frank, you know, I've never been a big fan of the Loyalist government, but the public culture bill is even worse than I expected. Bill, don't blame it on the government. Blame it on yellow journalism and the blatant lies that some newspapers post these days. There's nothing good about a misinformed public. Frank, well, yeah, sure, but do you realize how much power the government will have over media with this? Really, I agree with Frank on this one. I can do female voices. I can't see how the public culture bill would be beneficial for anyone but the government. And, well, media outlets like ourselves have a scary amount of power over people's opinions. But on the other hand, I don't think that giving the power to the government is a great idea either. Again, I can't do female voices. Let's see how our paper did. Oh, week one, never mind. Oh, we won't see how our paper did. Hell if I know. Up oh, there it is. You see, we have the northern suburbs, the western districts, the eastern factories, and the southern docks. They each have different stories they like, and I think the game will mention about that. That will affect how popular, you know, you do in those areas, if your stories are interesting to them. And then you'll also be able to affect their opinions and get some of them to rebel, some of them to support the loyalists, and so on. There you go, energy sales. That's what the container represents the people of that district. The light bar illustrates how many of those papers that were sold. The more you sell, the more popular you get. The more popular you get, the more papers you can distribute. People's opinion will affect your sales as well. Likewise, a well-selling paper will also affect people's opinions. 
though, I see we've turned people's political opinions to plus four rebels. The loyalists are slightly suspicious of us, and our paper's popularity has gone up. We've got new mail. There is nothing more heartbreaking than a misguided public. In a world controlled by the media, the loyalist government will stop at nothing to protect the people from frivolous lies and irresponsible gossip. The public culture bill is for your protection. Sure it is. Alright, let's go through our articles here. Romneval Industries lays off 400 employees. Today, industrial giants Romneval Industries laid off 400 of its employees. The personal cuts are the results of a bad financial year for Romneval. We are sad to see so many great people go, said the CEO. When asked if the company's management had taken any pay cuts in light of the recent issues, no comments were received. We can also change this. Rumble of interest takes out financial issues on its employees or just laid off. That's a little too harsh. Uh, anything we want to cut out of this? We can cut what the CEO said. Give them a dick. We cut out that they didn't take any pay cuts, but we don't, we definitely want to keep that in. A little creative editing there. Bar brawl in the Western Districts. Last night a fight broke out at a bar in the Western Districts. The fight involved six people who, according to the test according to testimony, were all heavily intoxicated. Knives and broken bottles were used, leaving four of those involved with minor injuries. The fight soon stopped after police arrived who arrested the offenders. A uh, little Nothing that hurts like a little, you know, little clickbait right there. Brawl, brawl, eh. Drunken, da dangerous, drunken brawl leaves several people injured. Now that's... That sells papers there. That's how you do it. Get that nice clickbait going on. Uh, let's see... Weller and Sons declares bankruptcy. Man attacks police officer. Pull that out. LNMA chairman wants to force propaganda onto the press. Or fights for a well-informed public. Yeah, no. Last night, the LNMA chairman discussed his upcoming plans for Westport's press. In the plan, the chairman stated that he wanted to introduce mandatory public information slots. These slots would be used by the government to spread important information to the public. The chairman means that this will keep the... Yeah, bullshit. Crossing that part out. Uh, let's see. We have... Loyalists cancel democracy or anarchy propones, postpones elections. The government announced today that the upcoming June elections will be postponed. The stated reason is security measure following the recent increase in acts of terror occurring in the city. This is a time for action, not discussion, the president said. Political debates can wait. As of writing, no new date has been issued. Alright. Got movie star claim... Movie star caught drunk driving drunk claims he was tired. Or movie star blames extremely reckless driving on a lack of sleep while reeking of alcohol. <laughs> Renowned movie star Harold Finn was caught driving under the influence just afternoon. The star was spotted by the police as he slowly swayed down the road. When apprehended, the star claimed to have been tired after spending the night with a female acquaintance. Weller and Sons declares bankruptcy. 200 employees lose their jobs. The large number of unemployed citizens just got larger as Weller and Son goes bankrupt. Let's go with that. The small furniture maker Weller and Son has officially closed down their business. The company had been steadily losing money over the last five years before uh, finally shutting their factories yesterday. Weller and Sons employed around 200 people in the factory and stores. We're not going to really edit anything on that. And then we have man attacks police officer or man defense teenager police officer presses charges. One teenager was caught writing rebel messages close on walls close to Liberty Square. A police officer witnessing the act intervened by tackling the teenager. The arrest was interrupted by a passerby who pulled the officer away from the teenager. Both the man and the teenager were arrested when the officer's partner arrived on the scene. Eh, nothing really interesting there. So we're going to use go with Weller and Sons, and I'll give that to uh, Anne. 
I take Romneval. I'll give to Phil. Or we'll take the LMNA Chairman one, which I'll give to Frank. And I'll we'll take the Anarchy, which will go to Julie. I feel like that's good in paper. We're talking mostly, we didn't put any real, we could have put some nice clickbait filler in there, like the uh, movie star, Drunken Brawl, Police Officer one, I didn't feel like, but I feel like this is more important to people. Give you the nice news that you need to know, a little political, a little bit of industry, all the important stuff. Um, uh, Anne and Julie will switch. Julie's got a little too much suspicion. Alright, let's see if they'll take that. Yep. Julie, business seems to be going really bad over at Romney Ball. Frank, no kidding. One of my best friends says it's complete chaos right now. Sorry, wrong name person. Oh yeah? You have a friend working there, don't you? Did he manage to stay on? According to him, he avoided getting laid off by a hair. I just hope things don't get worse over there. Week two! Ten weeks left till the public culture bill comes into force. Let's see how pissed the loyalists are at us. So the Western Districts really didn't give a crap about our paper. Uh, we pushed people to that. We gained a little bit more suspicion, but we lost some popularity because we didn't really interest the Western people. Oh joy. I got for mail. Dear Editor, I've left to support the workers at Romney Vault Industries, so I'll be gone this week. I'll be back on Monday. So we lost Frank. Dear Editor, as you're probably aware by now, when we were finally able to stop the notorious Northern Herald from spreading their lies to the public, we were also forced to shut down their affiliated marketing agency. As it so happens, your paper, the Westport Independent, used the same agency. This means from now on you have to take care of advertising yourself. Additionally, because of your affiliations with the perpetrators, we'll be keeping a close eye on you for the time being. The Loyalist Party of Westport. Fuck you. Yep, right in the Southern Docks. We'll probably want to grab that. That would be good. Uh, the Northern Herald will probably appeal to the uh, popularity of the... There we go. Bring that back up. We sold a lot in these factories because we talked a lot about factories. Northern Suburb. Western Districts didn't really care. Have to find something to interest the western districts. Oh shit, we're way over time. <laughs> well, uh, there's kind of our another one of our ten minutes that really are twenty minutes. We'll go ahead and stop it there. Yeah, so oops. <laughs> That's why I need to keep track of time. So, anyways, that was uh, 20 minutes <laughs> of the Westport Independence, uh, just like Concrete Jungle, where we kind of push that up a little bit too high. Oops. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully you enjoyed the fact of like, being a little bit longer than normal 10 minutes of. Uh, hopefully you kind of enjoyed it, and we'll probably do a little bit more again another time. So, uh, yeah. Can't think of what else to add to this, um, so later. And of course, as always, um, we're going to put up cards at the end here. So if you're interested in uh, any of my tycoon gaming things, we'll have, of course, the uh, Academia and Airport CEO up around here. And then there also will be a couple 10 minutes of uh, other 10 minutes of episodes that we've done. If you want to check those out, that'd be awesome. And yeah, thanks for uh, watching.